artsy fartsy. Ah! Ah! Now that is horrific. Oh, I just wanted to show. I just wanted to show a few of my things off. Uh, you might have been. You might be aware that the artist that created the alien, H.R. Geiger, Giga, whatever we, what you want to call it, pronounce it. Uh, he passed away today, and uh, just wanted to show a few of my figures that I've uh, collected over the years. Um, people are saying it's a sad day, but if you ask me, uh, I think it's quite funny. Um, I'll get to that in a minute, but you know, if you're a die-hard Geiger fan and might think that's disrespectful, but me personally, if you uh, if you know how he's died, it's quite funny. It kind of reminds me of uh, Rod Hull. Is it Rod Hull? Yeah, Rod Hull and Emu. The way he died, he fell off a roof, uh, fitting an aerial. And um, I can just imagine Rod Hull. Oh no, 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 rolling about. Fucking emu, he's fucking grabbed him by the neck and he's rolling off the roof and he's dropped. You know, it's quite a funny way to go. <laughs> and fucking guy, guy, he's only fell down the stairs, which is, you know, quite comical in itself. It's happened to the best of us. And unfortunately, you know, he's aged and that, he's died, but it's quite a funny way to go, if you ask me. And uh, anyway, I'm not sad. I mean, look at all these things that he's. Uh, these creations he's left us. That's another thing I wanted to share, but um, I might do it another time. I've got a H.R. Geiger um, poster book that was given to me when I was about, fuck knows, about five or six maybe, by my dad. It's got some horrific images in it. So it sort of um, explains a lot of the way I am today. It's got like um, mutated um, babies and uh, you know fallout mutants and stuff in it. And uh, wish I'd have kept that um, that Lee. There were, I, I had a 3D uh, Lee sculpture made, made by McFarlane, and I've you know it's from the poster, which I've got uh, A3 print, very nice. Back then, I didn't know what the fuck. I was like, why have you given me this? I want to play with whatever. Do you know what I mean? I can't even remember what I was into back then, but it certainly weren't these uh, dark images, which you know, I later grew to appreciate. But yeah, just keeping this short and sweet, just showing off a few things. Here you got the McFarlane Alien 12 inch. These are the sort of first 1 6 things I collected. And you got the McFarlane 3D poster. These are, these come with the uh, Hot Toys snap kits. And it's just got a flickering candle inside, it's quite nice. This I picked up and repainted it recently, it's just hard resin. Quite nice, I think it's from the Halcyon kits. Uh, same Hot Toys egg, and this is the one that come with the um, cane figures you see here. With custom head sculpt done by a guy called uh, Space Jockey on the uh, Sideshow Freaks forum. This is the wrong type of face I got. This is from the um, Grid Alien AVP set. Sold off the uh, Grid Alien because I didn't like the film. Kept the face over. But i um, try and get one of those. I can't remember who they made by now, but the original ones, yeah, they're pretty cool. But yeah, I say uh, celebrate what Giga give us, and uh, you know, I mean, look at this, it's fucking hideous, but it's beautiful at the same time. Amazing, no doubt. And uh, his influence has been felt since whenever the 60s, 70s, and 
and uh, will continue to do so. So that's it really. Keep on collecting and uh, all the Giga stuff and that's probably worth a fortune. So <laughs> if you've got stuff, stick it on eBay and I'll buy it. Alright, take it easy.